Yes, great people. All right. Thank you, my great people. The freedom fighters, the lovers of freedom, my great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekan. I still remain Mazo Kinna known as the Biafran Child in The General. My great people, I want you all to pay attention to this photo that I have next to my video right now. It's very, very important <clears throat> you understand the mess that we are into. This is a young lady that was raped to death. A young lady from um she's from Amaboro in Onesha, Iweze. She was raped to death by Fulani terrorist. Fulani Hesmen terrorist. This is the people that raped this young lady to death after they did what they know how to do and they murdered the young lady. And I want our people to understand that protest must continue because we can never abandon our hefty, our 14 hefty, young, vibrant men that he killed by a bubago. We can never abandon them. They are our people. That is why protest must continue. We listened to the leadership and they said that protest must continue. And that is why we are also here. I am here also to let our people understand we must do the needful. The mother of this young lady that knows nothing about their jihadism, Wahhabism, Islamization, Fulanization to the indigenous people that find themselves in that geographical entity called Zoological Republic of Nigeria. They are just suffering for nothing's sake. People that are coming from Sahel are taking in control of the indigenous people putting them on their armpit that none of our people can be able to, 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 to say anything. They will come for them. That is the reason why they murder this young lady. I will read out the news in detail. But before I get there, I want our people to understand that the leadership said that the protests will always start 2 p.m. Biafran time. Don't carry anything about, I mean, carry something like flag that I have next to me right now on my background. This is not about IPOB. This is about the killings and maimings and destruction coming from Fulani to our people. They are using them to do their job through our people. And that is why we are saying enough is enough. That is why the peaceful protest must continue. 2 p.m. Biafran time, you join your brothers and sisters. Go to your daily activities. 2 o'clock, 2 p.m. Biafran time, you join your people to protest in solidarity, to stop all this nonsense that is going on today in our land. Killing and maiming and destruction, adopting, rape to death. All these atrocities happening in our land. They have turned our land to, to something else that a, a, a graveyard is something I don't know. But that is the reason why that we must continue this protest on Urude one now and also. That is why we are here. We don't know who will be the next as this young lady raped to death you don't know who will be the next the mother are crying today the likewise the father 
the brothers and sisters, the, 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 the relatives. We don't know who will be the next. It does not matter who you are or your position. Sometimes <laughs> on something will be untied. Your, your relative will also move. Uh, unfortunate. Because all this thing that you are seeing today is unfortunate. That is something you have to understand. That is sometimes that is something that is a, a game plan. Well planned. And sometimes there is something called unfortunate. You were there at that, you are there at that particular time and you become the target. It's not something that we are planning to go and get this person. No, it's unfortunate you were, you are in a wrong place at the wrong time. A wrong place at the wrong time. Now you become the target. You now you begin to understand what I'm saying. So nobody they 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 are telling you. So, so this is it. So that is why protest must continue. But now let me read out because I want our people to understand this news of this young lady in detail, so that you will understand the area that this thing happened, and you will also at the same time understand those that are committing crime. Fulani are your problem. Fulani are one of those that are causing problem in that contraption. They are the number one champion by Meati Allah. They have called them to troop into that contraption. That is their father's island. Only what can stop all this thing to stop killing after we are going on this. We never know when the end will stop by protesting. Only what can solve the problem is disintegration of Nigeria. To cease Nigeria to exist. That is how Fulani will stop coming from Sahel. Coming to your backyard. Telling you that he's, a, he's, he's, he's an indigenous person of your backyard. Because you know why? All of you are one Nigeria. And when they are telling you one Nigeria, they are telling you, you can go any place and stay. You can go any place and live. You can go to any forest that is, uh, you know, vacant. Just put your tent there and begin to live because you are what one Nigeria. That is why the killing will keep on happening. But now let me read the news in detail before I will further tell you people some certain things that we have to know because on day one help us here also. Is it also? It's very important. Now listen to the news in details. Happened in Onisha, Iweze. Seriously, tension going in Onisha local government area of Ebony State as armed Fulani Hesmen attacked people, killed and raped a lady who is from Amamboro in Onisha, Iweze. According to the eyewitness report, this happened between Ababo and Onisha Iweze. This is getting out of control. That is the way, according to the write up. Now you understand where this thing happened. It happened between Ababo and the Onisha Iweze. In where? In local government area of Ebony. You see, why I'm bringing this news to our people is for us to buckle our belt and embark on this journey that we are. To make sure we get things right. To make sure Ebubago stopped first in our life because the entire enemy, the entire enemy is the one that will chop you that you won't know that is why you have to fight internal enemy before you are talking about external. Of course, full and me, they are a major problem of that contraption, but they are using also our own people to get us. So we have to deal with those people around us first. You know, that is when we are going to begin to get things right. So we have to stand on this protest. 2 p.m. Biafran time, Join your brothers and sisters. Join your brothers and sisters. And kudos to our mothers. Kudos to Umuada. Kudos to our young, young, vibrant men that came out to protest. 
and today it continues continues till we met our demand the leadership of IPOB they have spoken we all listened to them yesterday we listened to Mazishina Samoru so they have already spoken and we must support them to push this gospel of redemption to our people gospel of freedom to wait our leader Mazin Namikan is coming out great people I salute you all good day and welcome and don't forget that Fulani they are coming with conquest called holy war and as they are pushing they are coming with ethnic cleansing good day and welcome